All right, today is swarm day, and uh, this goes to show that even when you're checking on your hives, sometimes they still swarm anyway. We have two swarms today that we're going to retrieve. The nice thing about these swarms is they're low, and they're in these fruit trees here, so it'll be real easy to retrieve these swarms. As you can see, this, this colony is still swarming in the air. Now over here, we have another swarm. If you come down here... There's a small swarm in this tree. We've got a box ready that we're gonna just bump them into. And, uh, and then we're gonna allow the other swarm to have a little more time to, to group up. And then we'll bump them into a box. So we'll show you how we're gonna do that in just a minute. There's part of the swarm. This is not, probably the queen's not in here, but I'll shake them down. There they are. There they go. There's still some more on the leaves up there. Yeah, they're all running up on the comb. And I'm going to get the lid on here real quick. Now they're getting loud. Let's see if we can get them to calm down. Okay, so so right now, if the queen is in the if the queen is in here, if we got her in on that bump, uh, they're all starting to fan. You can see they're all lined up, and they put their abdomens in the air and they flap their wings. What they're doing is uh, they're casting the queen's pheromone smell to tell the rest of the bees come down and uh, join the party right here in the hive. And uh, we'll just give them a few minutes to settle down. There's a couple more on this leaf here. And I'll just shake this right in front of the hive. And they'll start to go in. It's fine. And that's for them to drink. Gonna put that right over here. An empty, super, over top. Okay, so they're uh, they're in good shape now. Put the lid on that, and like I say, we'll come back maybe uh, later today, and we'll just make sure everybody's uh, settled in and going to work. But now we got another swarm, so we'll get another box ready, and uh, we'll get some more freebies. There they go. Let's see if that got her. Now, do I see a queen walking around? I don't know. A little early to tell. So, if the queen's in here, the bees, if you want to, I don't know if you can come closer, you can see what they do. You can uh, see that they'll they'll line up and they'll they'll put their butts in the air. And you can see them doing it real good over where I am. And they're fanning uh, the, the queen's pheromone to tell the other swarm, there any anybody that's left of this swarm, that the queen is now in here. We need to be here. And they're all gathered up around the uh, the top hole of this uh, inner cover. And you can see that they're all fanning. And they're starting to come to the little notch entrance hole and the regular entrance hole. And you can see they're positioned just like this. That's called a Nasanoff gland. It's a scent gland and they're communicating by scent. Pretty cool. Another neat thing about 
catching swarms, most of the time you don't even have to suit up at all. Uh, I typically never wear a bee suit, I might wear a veil, uh, but even capturing a swarm uh, like this, you have to understand with your bees, they're not really looking for trouble, they're not looking for a fight, they're not in an aggressive state. What they are trying to do though is relocate to a new home. So that's their prime concern. That's why they're not nasty. That's why nobody stung me. I haven't gotten a single sting this whole time. And I'm not worried about getting stung either because what they're trying to do is just establish uh, their new house. And once they're in and settled, I'm gonna put the other frames in and we're gonna set them up on a rail in their new neighborhood. So I think it's probably, we've got most of the bees. I don't see any more returning to the branches. So I'm just gonna walk with this over to the rail and set them up.